Good morning. Today we have a very interesting trip planned. We are going to be crossing the Batur Lake. We're going on a 20 minute boat ride to get to the True Nyan village. And this village is particularly interesting because of their burial rites. And we'll get to more of that in the cemetery here once we cross the water. But we are taking sort of a traditional style boat uh, past all of these fish, uh, farm fish nets all the way across down to a village that's right over there. So the total boat ride is about 30 minutes. And the civilization that's there is home to the Bali Aja people. And their civilization dates back many thousands of years. So it'll be pretty, uh, I think, interesting to see not only the village, but also the cemetery and what goes along with that cemetery. I'm really excited to show you. So we'll get started once our captain shows up and uh, we begin the boat journey. All right, so the boat ride begins. It's about a 20 minute journey. Low, uh, low hanging ceiling here. Boy. Ow. <laughs> Uh. All right. So, oh, thank you, Puck. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Oh, keep them coming. All right. Lots of life jackets. Thank you, Puck. Thank you. Okay. Bye, Tampa So, this trip we were able to organize right out of our hotel, the Toya Devasa. So we, uh, as we begin the journey on the boat, we're starting to pass. This is all like the farm fish from the freshwater lake. I mean, I imagine there's many thousands of fish in there. And each morning, people from the resorts, the hotels, will come out and gather the fish that they need for the day. That's a pretty cool system. And there are those fish farms all scattered throughout the lake. So the Mujar fish uh, are what's grown here in the fish farm. I might be saying it wrong, so let's yeah, Close enough. Check. So we're just pulling up to the village now, and you're getting a much closer look here now of these uh, farm, uh, these uh, farm fish nets here. And there's a gentleman uh, on the dock here feeding the fish. who was just throwing a can of fish food out there. I just docked up and uh, as you can see right when you get here you're right on the shoreline uh, again very beautiful uh, so far cool experience Ooh, thank you hello puggy oh, lots of the blessings that you see puggy hello hello all right, so the tour starts out with just a general walk about of the village and everyone's uh, been really kind asking about our kids how old they are just the usual stuff and then I generally imagine uh, we'll stick out like sore thumbs here so we'll probably have a lot of uh, interest of like where where we you know where we've come from who we are all that and so this is a truck Loading up the papayas. Probably gonna go to market. Watermelons, nice. All right, so here's a temple here. Kind of each one of the villages has their own unique looking temple. Let's see if we can't get a closer look. Gates open, so we should probably be able to go inside. All right, let's see, hello. So one of the more unique aspects to the Trunayan villagers here is what they do with their youth. So when boys turn a certain age, they actually have them leave the village and those boys live as beggars kind of all throughout Bali. I can't find a whole lot of information about why they do that practice or how long the boys act as beggars, but it is interesting to think about all kind of the people we see in the streets that are begging, they very well could be villagers who are doing kind of a quest or a spiritual journey as part of their just the lifestyle. So it is kind of um, an interesting thing to think about uh, living as a beggar as part of just your upbringing. That's the expectation that you're going to do that. I think now we'll just take a closer look more at some of the some of the temple structures. Uh, the gates are open. Some of the gates are open. So let's see what we can find. So uh, with the tour that was organized, um, they basically bring you to the temple. They don't appear to really know a lot about uh, any of this stuff, so I think they're more here just to uh, show us where the temple is. But in terms of uh, asking any sort of questions, um, it's just going to be up to you and your uh, internet search. But coming out here and seeing the temple is pretty cool. I 
I would definitely call it kid friendly. Just a place to explore and then you could probably spend as much time as you want here. But the views are great. And it looks like our tour continues. I'm glad we get to get a little higher. Uh, I probably get a good shot of the uh, the whole village from up here. All right, looking good. All right, so from the back side of the village, it really that's a nice shot. I really can see the valley. All right, so I got the uh, heavy weight here because why go upstairs uh, without the extra weight of a baby? Let's see. Little uh, information there. But coming up here just to see the uh, view from behind would be totally worth doing. Okay. All right. Here we go. Yes. And the view is fantastic from up here. Whew. All right, so just going up those steps, you can really appreciate the amount of work it would take to climb to the top of Batur Mountain, which is definitely one of these treks people go on. You wake up at like two in the morning and you get to the top of the mountain for a sunrise. So just uh, from down there to right here, I'm definitely sucking wind, but I am holding a baby. So that might be my excuse. All right, there's another temple up here. Oh, it's beautiful. And I'm much, trickier steps. Oi. All right. Ooh, okay. Small, but one, looks like two, I don't know, maybe, I don't know if that's meant to be like throne seats, but cool anyway. Wow, oh, lots of, oh, all this uh, debris on the ground is where they had those old little, uh, Blessing flowers and baskets. Oh. There you go. So there's three, three structures, no, two structures with doors. And then another little teeny, again, to me that looks like a chair or a throne of some sort. So what that all means, hard to say. So to come up the steps, to come up to this little uh, temple, is really cool. Totally worth doing. All right, down we go. Now I think we're gonna take the boat over to the cemetery. <laughs> All right, so just up ahead is the dock which will lead us to the cemetery. Okay. okay. All right, so off the boat. Huggy. All right, so what's so unique here is the way they treat uh, the bodies. They don't actually bury bodies uh, in this village. So instead, they lay the bodies um, out like this. Okay. 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 No problem. This is the person. Uh, 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 okay. And so, as you can see, the bodies are here left to decompose. So, you've got skeletons, all the decomposing bodies covered in cloth. Oh boy. There is a bit of a smell. But the heads are down there. And the way this works is uh, the bodies are left here <coughs> covered uh, in these sort of uh, gates here. And they're left to totally decompose. And once they have decomposed completely, they'll take the bones. Elephant all. Elephant? Yeah. Up you move that body very long. I see bamboo and get out you want. Oh. And cal, you put me in there. Oh, the skull goes up here. Yeah. Okay. Nice. So you lay, you leave the body. How many days? Yeah, but can you see? Oleh, orang boleh kerja pak. Tiga bulan, lima bulan, enam bulan, dah jadi tangkorak. Oh, lima bulan. 
five yes five days or five oh uh, five months five, five months. months okay five um, months. six months if you see big running that's the famous oh. <laughs> yeah but runya and billy three symmetry oh three of them three symmetry yeah, nice. but here all marriage here Uh, okay. But not married not here. Only no. most there. Okay, but so only married. Okay, so yeah. Pak is talking about uh, yeah. the fact that this particular cemetery is okay. only for married you couples. Married that body, If you're you single, then you are Sandalwood. cremated at a actual cemetery down yeah. the way. Yeah. And married couples come here for this uh, ritual where for five months the body is laid out. That's very cool. Offerings yeah. are given. No problem. And you can see uh, just the decomposing so bodies. Six Here's yeah, six days. Yeah, kind of just in between uh, here are and the bodies. Nam. And nam. Each nam. one of these nam. bodies will decompose for six months, five to six months, and then the bones, once their uh, time has come and they've fully mm -hmm. decomposed, are yeah. here. So you've got all the items that were left by the family. So you're kind of talking about bones, and you've got. Okay. Skulls just out, big femur bones, and again, all this is not rubbish. This is um, items that were left for offering for the bodies, and then once they um, are all decomposed, then the skulls come up here, and here are. Here are the skulls. I'm really glad that uh, Pac is here to give us all this information and explain sort of the story behind it. Having uh, the groundskeeper here, and I don't know if he is here all the time, but having him here now is great. And his English is pretty good, so he can give us some of the story. So the reason this place um, actually doesn't smell bad with like rotting bodies is this tree right here. This is the banyan tree and the gentleman said sandalwood. So I'm not sure sandalwood, banyan, maybe that's the same thing. But it's this massive tree system. Very ancient. Do we have any idea how old the tree is? Well, there's one. Well, there's one banyan tree here. Uh, one banyan tree. How, one thousand one hundred years. Wow. 1,100 years old, this banyan tree. And the fragrance that it releases completely masks everything over here. And again, I do want to point out just as a simple fact that this is actually not just garbage. This is everything that's swept up as the bodies come out and new bodies come in. Donations are left, personal items that the uh, individual owned. And then again, that's all transferred over here. And eventually it's all cleaned out. But this is all part of the family donation uh, to to the person who has recently passed away. So again, to bring the kids on something like this, I think it's totally worth doing. It's a fascinating part of just what happens in life. So definitely a uh, experience to have. All right, I hope you enjoyed this look into life in the village and we will see you in the next episode.